Hi, welcome back. I'm Robin. I'm a nurse and I just started this channel because I was in a really dark place of burnout as a nurse and can honestly say that I've like pulled myself out of it and feel like I don't have any compassion fatigue anymore and I just feel like I'm in a better place as a nurse and I feel like in this day and age that that's like an important message to share because I know that when I was really burnt out I would like go on YouTube and like just watch videos and I couldn't find any nurses that would really talk about anything other than like how much they love their specialty or blah 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 and like that's like so amazing and I am so happy for them but I just like didn't relate and I feel like maybe by me sharing like things that I've done that I can say have truly helped me get out of this like burnout then maybe it'll help somebody. I don't know. It's kind of a fun hobby too because I guess like I already put reflection taking care of myself into my like self-care routine or whatever but this almost forces me to be more intentional and like put more time into it which I think is awesome. I have the time to do that. I'm very blessed in that respect so I'm just gonna I don't know. I'm just going to explore this. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I have no idea. I wanted to start this week off by saying, wow, it's beautiful weather outside. Like, welcome to spring, basically. It was snowing on Saturday and now it is 70 degrees outside. I started my day off by taking my dog for a walk. It was so beautiful outside that we ended up walking for like two hours and honestly, like, in order to soak this weather up even more, I'm just gonna go in the backyard and read and drink some tea and, you know, spend time in the sunshine even more because for me, that is like the simplest thing, even if it's just like five, 10, 15, or like even an hour or two like today that I spend outside and it just, I don't know, just like, it fills me up, fills me up. I also wanted to talk about something that has been like a recurrent theme this week for me and like either I've read it or I've heard it on a podcast or I have been prompted via like my daily affirmations book and journaled about it, which is just to be kind to yourself, especially as healthcare workers, we put other people's needs first before we put our own needs first. And that is the beautiful thing about us as healthcare workers. It's a calling. We we have the desire to take care of people. We have the compassion. And unfortunately, in the system that we're in, it takes advantage of the fact that we will put other people's needs before our own. And if we continue to put other people's needs before our own, I am so guilty of this, and you do not focus and become intentional about what makes you happy or fills your cup back up after the fact, you will 100% get burned out. Or better yet, you're gonna turn into that nurse that every nurse or nursing student has met that makes you think, I'm not gonna be that nurse when I grow up. I'm not gonna become that nurse. Well, guess what? We all hit a point in our career, we all hit a point where we become that nurse. I have hit it, I have been miserable and unhappy and taken it out on others or taken it out on nursing students, unfortunately. And yet we have all been in that position where we're like, I'm not gonna be hardened. I really just wanna challenge you if there is some way some small amount of time that you can think about a way to put yourself first in your life right now in this moment before you put others first do it um i think that everybody's daily life is different everybody's self-care routine is different and something that has made a difference in my life made me more intentional about my self-care is to find a hobby or find something that truly makes me happy or makes me walk away from it and I'm like oh like I don't feel more depleted I feel I don't know rebuilt I don't know that's not uh, whatever so yeah just like I'm just 
it's something that I'm constantly working towards is just spending less time on the couch, more time being intentional with my activities, being outside, spending time in the sun makes a world of difference for me. And maybe that's like one small thing that I challenge you to do in order to help boost your self-care routine. Yeah, just be kind to yourself, you know, like give yourself grace. Even if you do spend a few hours on the couch, like that's what you need. That's what your body needs. Listen to your body. I have felt like really off this week. I haven't really felt a hundred percent. I don't really know why. And this morning I woke up really early to go to the gym and looking back, I don't think that was the right decision. So before I head into this work weekend, I'm going to definitely make recovery my priority. Yeah, my priority, um, listening to my body better, listening to my body more, and just doing things that like really fill me up. I don't know. So I'll bring you along to some of the things I'm going to do. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys so soon. Soon. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Hey, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day so far. Booty, 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 booty. What are you doing? Lay down. Oh, now you want my stick. Oh, now you want my stick. Okay. Um, Rommel and I are just enjoying a day at the park today. It's such a beautiful day. So yeah, we're here enjoying this. I'm just feeling off. I'm just feeling off this week. I don't know, like my energy is just so low. I don't know if it's the change of seasons. I don't know what it is. What is it, Bubbles? Oh, now you're just, he just chews it and spits it out. Don't worry. Uh, I just, I just want to touch on like listening to your body, you know, and doing, what is good for you in the moment. Going to the gym is not going to serve me in this moment. So I am going to do some stretching. I'm gonna read my book. Yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna have a day, huh, Bubs? Oh, another stick. <laughs> this is just my dog's channel. This is, this is not. This is nothing to do with me or nursing, right, Rommel? <laughs> this is just, this is just Rommel the Rhodesian Ridgebacks channel. <laughs> Can you just lay down? Don't worry guys, he doesn't eat it. He just spits it out on me, see? <laughs> okay, anyways, I'll, I'll see you a little, in a little bit. I'll see you in a little bit. to end this week on a positive note like I want to end all my weeks on 
And today I just wanted to remind everybody out there that you are enough as you are in this present moment and don't anybody else, especially in the workplace, ever make you feel differently. I challenge you to try something new this week, whether it be super small and do something that you have always wanted to do and you just haven't done it for some reason. Like something mentally is holding you back. It's not holding you back today or this week or this month. Do something for yourself. I made bagels this morning. I made bagels this morning. That started out as something very, very small that I challenged myself to do a few weeks ago by just starting a sourdough starter. And today I decided to, today I decided it was going to be the day that I took the plunge to make some bagels. And they freaking worked out. If I can figure out how to insert a little, a little picture, I will try to. Um... If not, you'll have to take my word for it and maybe I will show you in the future because I'm going to be making them again. I just want you guys to feel that sense of accomplishment or that sense of pride. I want you to do something for yourself and the amount of accomplishment and pride that you feel when you do that, that you didn't think you were capable of or that you just like didn't set the time aside to do, it makes you feel so good and that's the kind of good that I want to fuel me or push me into this work weekend coming up. My energy has definitely gone up this week by the end of this week because I put recovery first and I listen to my body and I always encourage anybody to listen to their body. Whatever you choose to do in terms of movement or lack thereof, do it because you love yourself. Do it because you love your body, not because you hate your body. I choose movement or I choose exercise or I choose yoga, stretching, hit, whatever it is in that moment, I choose it because I love my body, not because I hate my body, not because there is something I wanna alter about myself or change or punish myself for. And I encourage everybody to change their mindset and feel the same way. And just take that into your work week or take that into your weekend or your Sunday scaries. Take that into your Sunday scaries and let that feeling or thought or love for yourself fuel you into a positive week the next week. That's it. That's all I wanted to end this on. I hope everybody has a fabulous weekend coming into this weekend and a happy St. Patrick's Day. And I really just want you to know that you are enough however you are in this present moment without changing a thing about yourself. You are enough in this moment. And so am I. Love you guys. Bye.